Hey guys, it's Francis Cobina here. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you like my videos and you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put that notification bell on. Thank you. For most guys growing up in Greendale, working in the mines is an, an option. For me and my brother Tommy, it wasn't even a question. My father's always been like, you want to finish high school? Great. Whatever you think about college, that's not where your future lies. Your future is here, down in the ground with the rest of us. So how am I supposed to tell my old man that? That I can't go back down there again. And it's not because I have claustrophobia or I'm scared of getting the black lung. Both legit fears, by the way. But it's because I, because of what I, eight years ago, my brother Tommy and I were playing hide and seek with a couple of his buddies. And I, like an idiot, went into the mines to hide. And I'm in there, and it's pitch black, alone. Five minutes go by, then ten, and then half an hour, and then an hour, and no one comes to find me. So I assume they must have given up. And I'm trying to get back to the mine entrance, but I can't find it. I have no idea where I am, if I'm going deeper into the caves, but, and basically, I'm lost, right? And that's when I... When I saw it, Sabrina. It's gonna sound crazy, but I swear to God. It looked like a goat, only bigger. Standing upright on its hind legs. And it had these, like, these horns. And giant bat wings. And it smelled like, like a book of matches had been struck. And it terrified me. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. I started to cry. I was still crying when Tommy found me five hours later. He said it was probably hallucinations caused by the sulfur fumes in the mines, but... Whatever was down there, Sabrina, it was real. And I keep thinking, eight years later, I keep thinking, what if it's still down there? Waiting for me.